Hi, welcome to Eastbourne. I'm Pam. I'm Rebecca. I'm currently situated at the Choice Information Centre in Eastbourne. It's situated very close to the shopping centre and to the train station. It's very convenient for tourists to get around and to find information on where to go within the Eastbourne area. And we're going to go inside to the film some choice information and see what's available for tourists. These are some top attractions. Oh, here they are. These are all top attractions in Eastbourne. 2014. Quite good. Um, The Arndale Centre is part of the £70 million regeneration scheme for Eastbourne. The project will also include 22 new ground and first floor units, plus additional car parking to be a benefit for all. Follow us as we walk through the centre. It's a great opportunity for all ages and for everybody to come enjoy themselves nice and easeful. Yep. We're now outside the Treasure Island attraction and Laura's going to give us her views on the attraction. She's just left. How did you find the attraction today? What do you think of it? Um, yes, it's a really good place for kids. Um, it's cheap and um, the kids get to play in the soft play. Uh, they get to run around. It's cheap food and drinks. There's no time limit. What did you think of the attraction? What's your name? Poppy, how old are you? Five. Five. What did you think of the attraction? Did you like it? Did you like it? Yeah, would you go there again? Is it good or bad for children? Yeah. We it's go good. there all the time. You do? Yeah. Okay, you said it's free as well. No, it's not free, but it's really cheap. How much is it for children? About £3.50. And for adults? A pound. A pound. And you can stay, spend all day there if you want. It's cheaper than London. It's cheaper than London. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, Laura and Poppy. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> November is Remembrance Day in the UK, and Eastbourne has a statue in recognition of those who died in the war. And we have puppies on display as well, um, as you can see here. Very colourful and it's very poignant. Actually, very beautiful display to those who died in the war. So this is Eastbourne Bandstand, um, built in 1935. Here are held loads of concerts. It's also one of the busiest bandstands in the United Kingdom. This is Seaside Road, a main shopping road in Eastbourne. We've got a Premier Inn hotel being built over there. That will be open shortly. We've got a charity shop here, Scope Charity Shop. We've also got a fish restaurant. And behind us, we've got, as you can see, quite a variety of shops. A leather shop across the road, another charity shop, and it's quite a busy, busy road in Eastbourne. There's also a townhouse pub here. Eastbourne's quite a sociable area, quite a few pubs in the area as well. And um, across the road, we've got a European food shop. Again, showing diversity in Eastbourne. You've got Russian food, Latvian food, and Bulgarian food. So as you can see, Eastbourne is quite a diverse area.
hope you enjoyed our video. And thank you for watching. has a variety of attractions, the main one being the pair, the Eastbourne pair. Okay. Unfortunately, it, unfortunately it caught fire five months ago, so it will be refurbished shortly. Opposite the pair we have a variety of hotels. And now we'll show you, now we'll show you a variety of attractions. Well, that is interesting.